Hello, this is Colby Meek, and I'm showing you my replica of the silent submachine gun from Left 4 Dead 2. So pretty much right now you can see just about the whole thing. Uh, flashlight, suppressor, and that's really about it on the gun. The magazine, um, what it's made out of is an Airsoft Mac 11 machine gun. And I bought it used because it was broken, so I got it for $60.00 which might sound kind of expensive but it's a really nice one it's green gas and everything I couldn't fix it so I took it apart and found out that pieces in the bolt were literally just blown to shreds I mean it was terrible so that's been sitting around a while and I decided you know what I'm gonna make a prop out of it so because it's an actual toy gun the stock folds and retracts like that bolt locks open and the mag goes in, so that's a whole gun like that. Uh, flashlight, that works. It's just a cheap, junky flashlight I found, and I zip-tied it on. Uh, the suppressor, that was a little different, because I had to make it so it would fit the gun, because it was just this tube, so I had to add this one. I cut a piece of ABS pipe, drilled some holes in it, and then I stuck it over this. It kind of just fits snugly on there. And then I added some silver paint and gave it some scratches. So I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, pretty much like the game. Only difference I that I can see is in the game it has a different style of flashlight. And there's a lanyard here that comes down. But I couldn't find one to put on it. So that's about it. While I'm here... I might as well show you my Airsoft Thompson. What I did was I added a lot of weathering to the receiver specifically. So you can kind of see that. And I don't know, I just thought it looked really good like that. Kind of a little more worn out. Same with the other side too. So yeah. Looks a lot better that way I think. Thank you for watching, I appreciate your views, and have a